Chicken Journey is an adorable indie platformer developed by Looneyware and is available to play on Nintendo Switch and PC. You'll travel the land solving puzzles and helping fellow animals all in your search for the truth. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Playing as this adorable chicken, you'll go to your local mayor to ask the big question, but as he doesn't know either, you'll set out on a quest to collect three scrolls that will ultimately gain you entry to a place of knowledge where you'll be able to find the answer to your question. The puzzles in Chicken Journey are interesting and thought out. A simple game such as this where it's fairly limited in terms of what actions you can do does not limit the puzzles here at all. You'll need to rewind a ball of yarn, use weights on levers to open doors, glide your way through treetops, all the while using your skills to jump between platforms, navigate through thorns, find your way through intricate cog systems and more. Each area you go to will have its own kind of puzzle and they all felt like the perfect length. I never got to a point where I was thinking I just wanted the section to be over. Again, this is so rare for platformers, so I think the devs did a really good job here. You'll meet an interesting array of characters across your journey as you travel between areas. For example, you'll come across some adorable frogs who are having some hiccups with their pool party and you set out to help them. It's very cute. The dialogue is quite funny and engaging and not dragged out either. Sometimes I find myself skipping through dialogue just to get back to the gameplay, but not here. Your little chicken pal starts off with a basic set of skills, essentially just jumping. But as you explore, meet characters and travel to exotic places, you'll learn new techniques along the way to help you reach new places and avoid some unpleasant deaths. There's so much detail here as well, as you're rewarded for exploring, finding funny references, interesting details and characters. The game does a great job of being challenging, but not to the extent where you don't know what needs to be done or where to go. I always knew exactly where I needed to go, but not in a way where I thought it was too straightforward or linear. I also never felt frustrated enough to rage quit or give up, which is pretty big for me. While some parts were challenging, I generally got it within a few tries. For the most part. The save stations that are positioned at essentially the start of every part where you could possibly die means no annoying repeating of huge areas, which is absolutely massive. There's nothing I hate more than having to redo big sections constantly in games like this. It's very quick to load you back to the previous save station, which is generally always very close by, so you can die all over again. I found this also gave the game a kind of addictive element as it was just so easy and fast paced as you just die and respawn in a matter of seconds. The game is about 5 or so hours in length, it's quick and to the point, and considering the details in the game and the love that's been put into it, for $14 Australian I think it is excellent value for money. The graphics are simple but detailed, you can peek into people's houses and snoop through their stuff which will often reward you with a collectible that will give you a fun little fact about chickens. The soundtrack is cute as well, giving the game a very calming and relaxing vibe that almost feels a bit nostalgic. And as a fan of older games like Banjo and Kazooie and other older Zelda games, I loved this. Controls were also super simple, literally just a couple of buttons to use, making it super easy to learn and also to pick back up if you've left a few days in between sessions. As someone who isn't a massive fan of platformers, this is absolutely the most fun I've ever had with this genre. Quick progression, lots of save points, a cute story and characters, and just the right length, also ridiculously wholesome. I really enjoyed this game and I definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for watching my video, please leave a like or subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one, bye!